For the inaugural curriculum of Knights MMA, I've chosen to focus on striking. Striking can be considered the art of hitting and not getting hit. And the primary reason I chose this first is because you can practice it on your own. While I absolutely encourage my students to go out and spar, crisp, clean technique is absolutely something you can develop at home. Now let's talk about the definition of striking. Striking can be considered the art of hitting and not getting hit. It typically happens when there's space between you and your opponent, and you're free to move around in space without dealing with the opponent's weight. You're trying to strike the opponent or hit them with a part of your body that is hard and rough to a part of their body that is soft and weak. There are many martial arts in the world today that are based upon striking. Boxing, the sport Muhammad Ali and Mike Tyson famously come from. Muay Thai, the devastating art of eight limbs. Muay Thai is known as the art of eight limbs because it allows the user to hit with both hands, both elbows, both knees, and both legs, totaling eight limbs. Even more dangerous still is the art of Lethway, allowing headbutts, making it the art of nine limbs. Karate, a popular martial art originating from Japan, who has primarily shifted towards being a specialized striking art. While karate's primary focus used to be on being a complete martial art, it has shifted its priority over the years, and today leans heavy into the striking. There are many forms of karate, such as Kyokushin and Shotokan, but they all focus on striking. Taekwondo, the martial art of Korea, is an Olympic sport that focuses primarily on kicking. And because kicks are a form of strikes, Taekwondo is an art that focuses primarily on striking. Sanda, or San Shao, a Chinese martial art that allows throws but focuses primarily on striking. And Bruce Lee's Jeet Kune Do, or Tao of Intercepting Fist, an art that focuses primarily on striking with the straight lead and the sidekick. All the forms of striking that I have given you have certain rules and regulations, all of which greatly influence the style that they have become. In boxing, only punches with the hand are allowed, meaning that its practitioners gain great power, speed, dexterity, and technique with their hands that can only be found through specializing in one area of striking. The same can be said for Taekwondo. With punches illegal to the head in competition, Taekwondo practitioners develop some of the most fearsome, complicated, and intricate kicking techniques. Something that could only be developed by focusing on kicking. Muay Thai, allowing the use of more weapons, practitioners become skilled in a wide array of striking techniques with different parts of the body. However, with so much to learn, there is less room for the specialization that comes with Taekwondo and boxing. All these striking arts that I have mentioned have strengths and weaknesses. We try to take the strengths and leave out the weaknesses when we approach building a striking style for MMA. Everybody's striking style will be different. Some people have long, flexible, powerful legs, thus it would make sense for them to learn kicking. Some people will be a bit shorter and won't be able to kick at range, thus they must learn punching. The goal of Knights MMA is to give you the tools and techniques to help you become the best striker suited for you. Remember, everybody is different, and there are many paths to the top of the mountain, but they all lead to the top of the mountain.